Well, fashion means, or rather fall means fashion week in New York and the continent of Africa has excited the fashion world with the work of creative and enterprising designers. Viewer correspondent Bernard Shazman reports from New York, the fashion capital of the world. For the first time, African designers presented during the major fashion week calendar. It brought both diversity and authenticity to the global fashion economy. In addition, it integrated Africa's designs and related brands with the global fashion calendar, essential for Africa to compete globally. Creator of the spring and summer 2016 African Fashion Week, was Adiat Dissou. As far as I'm concerned, New York is the mother of all fashion weeks. And um, for African designers, or any designer really, from um, foreign markets to be able to partake in such an astounding, I guess, platform, it's an opportunity. Adore brought two of the brightest and creative designers to our studios. One was Hilda Muaya, who is from Kenya, now lives in the United States and utilizes 100% Kenyan materials. All women are powerful. They just have to know. They, they, every, every woman has to tap into their power. And you can do that through fashion. Um, you can tell me when you wear your favorite outfit, your self-esteem goes up, your confidence goes up, you walk taller. And that's powerful, that's sophisticated. One of Hilda's favorites for spring is from what she calls her Corti collection. What she's wearing is from my collection, Kikoti collection. Like I said, Koti means jacket in Kenya. And what she's wearing is uh, one of the sophisticated pieces that is, you can wear it every day. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to an evening out, you can wear it to a date. And so when it comes to princess here, as you guys can see, she's wearing my red ruby collection. Um, and also jewelry by Maya. And this is the cape. That is, a, it's it's red carpet cake. Is um, is the, the, the inspiration behind this is just simple elegance. Less is better. My inspiration behind this is just being able to make a woman look powerful. The second designer is Anyi Brown, born in Nigeria, now living in Texas, who incorporates Mexican styles with African design. For this particular collection, I wanted it to be very free-falling, things you throw on, especially in the springtime when you're going out and our lives are so busy as women. Me, I'm a mother of three, and so I still want to look fabulous wherever I go, and these are things you can easily throw on. Brown's career began literally by accident. I actually was self-taught. Um, about two and a half years ago, um, I literally picked up a sewing machine that was left by a friend of mine in her garage, and I started sewing. And from there, it just developed and evolved to um, several different collections. This is um, a jumpsuit um, that Shalina is wearing. Um, for this season, we chose linen for most of our um, designs. Love um, has the open back. Again, this is kind of risky for my risky sisters out there. Um, and um, the one thing I love about this piece is that it still supports your front without having, while having an exposed back. African Fashion Week is the bridge where the creative and entrepreneurial people behind Africa's brands leave their imprint on America's fashion world. They have presented their contributions professionally, artfully, and with impact. From Fashion Week, Bernard Chessman, Voice of America, New York. What the hell?